What's up y'all? I'm sitting here waiting on the inspector to come. Uh, should be here in between 11 and 1. I'm sitting here waiting and um, um, y'all keep on hitting my DM and I ain't mad at it. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's, it's character, man. It's integrity. It's not, um, uh, how you say it? It's not just, I'm going to say just, because we inherently want to help people who look like us, act like us, have the same uh, characteristics as us, you know, whether it's a sport, whether it's a religion, whether it's a physical demographic, you know, um, as it pertains to... Uh, um, uh, what we associate with. I think black people got to learn from this. Um, you got to own something to help people. You got to have power. You got to have influence. If you don't have these things, then it's going to be short-lived, right? Right? I'm literally sitting here waiting for my the the city, the city to come and inspect the uh, um, the plans, you know, as it pertains to my new developments, and um, um, you gotta own it, you know, the jobs I've created, the people that I've housed, you know, I have power in this realm, you know. Um, I had a small percentage of power in boxing. I, I, I've done some things in boxing and I knew that the real currency was the people, not the subscribers. And when I put 300 people in that barbershop parking lot for Spence versus Porter, it scared the daylights out of everybody. It scared the daylights out of them. Ever since that moment, that, oh, no one man should have all that power. I had a lot of power. I had a lot of influence. When you could bring the first and only person to bring 300 people to a destination on their own merit, it's pretty It's pretty freaking remarkable, you know? So um, that, that, that scared them. And they said, we got to get rid of this man because that 300 people is going to turn into 600. They paid attention. They, you know, and uh, they conditioned, uh, they conditioned uh, the boxing public. They conditioned people. Oh, he's a cancer. Don't be like Fred. Oh yeah, he's he's a cancer. Meanwhile, I am literally, as you would call it, the American dream, right? <laughs> In real life. You know, and I, uh, I, I've i only wanted it. And you guys have physically seen my maturation, you know, as it pertains to me in this platform and, and seeking truth, whether it was a film, whether it was a YouTube video. Um, I did my books prior, but, or whether it was an interview, whether it was commentary, social commentary, you guys have seen my evolution and, and fearlessly evolving in front of the people. Now here's what black people got to do online got to evolve because there are white people that's going to help you there are men that's going to help you there are women that's going to help you there are gay people that are going to help you there are christians that are going to help you there are uh christians atheists agnostic people that are going to help you in real life and that's why you got to judge people on the content of their character and their great deeds it takes time to get here because i'll say for a as a black man in this country, you're bombarded and beat down with um, the white man is this, the white man. It's a system. It's a system. It's, it's, uh, and there are systemic issues in this country, right? And there are pathways to defeating that systemic system. I am a victor in that. I am a living example of this. And so is your favorite fighter that uh, you're going to advocate for. <laughs> your favorite black fighter, excuse me. So uh, um, I just, um, 
I, 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 am I, oh, okay, I'm in someone's, I'm parked on the street so the inspector can pull into the driveway and make his life easier, you know, that's all. So, um, that's it. So I'm sitting there waiting. Hopefully he comes. Well, he got 54 more minutes, so he'll be here, <laughs> you know, so you might see uh, Tesla talk, uh, charging conversations, you know, I'm not charging the car, but I wish I was, you know, so, but, but at the end of the day, I, um, I want us all to have a Malcolm X to El Haj Malik El Shabazz type of moment. And honestly, I can literally say from a mental standpoint, I've gone from Malcolm Little to Malcolm X to El Haj El Malik El Shabazz. Malcolm X wasn't uh, anti-white people when he died. No, he was he was pro character. He was pro integrity. He was pro your deeds. Uh, he also believed that there was some systemic stuff that needs to be fixed, you know. And uh, let me park. There are some systemic things that need to be fixed, you know. Uh, I, I, I applaud this man. That's why I I celebrate him. You know, one of the many reasons why I so I'm from I was born in Harlem, right? One of the many reasons why I celebrate them. Cars can't get by. So, um, at, at, at the end of the day, we all got to grow. We can't stand still. I'm just saying it, man. I don't care whether you're me and you've evolved from a liberal college degree or whether you're an inmate and evolve from a prison mindset. We all gotta evolve. And the most beautiful thing about if you believe in God, there's no big eyes and little U's, you know. Um, so when you commit a crime or a sin, it's, it's on par with an Ivy League committing a sin versus a criminal stealing, you know, so. Um, um, so yeah, man. So I, I just said all that to say my DMs are flooded. Y'all want me to talk about this subject more often. You know, I, I just hope that these PBC fighters, it's trash day. The trash truck is coming down the street now. Damn, I gotta move. I gotta go around the block again. So, um, um, so yeah, I, uh, So I just want us all to win. I got to move my car. So, but y'all go ahead and have a splendid day. Trash truck is coming down the street. Um, I just want us all to win, man. And uh, and let me just wait on this inspection. 51 more minutes. Hopefully he'll be here. And um, we'll move on from there. So y'all go ahead and have a beautiful day. And um, talk to you guys soon. Peace.